back to my channel. My name is Sam. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm showing you guys how I've been doing my eyebrows lately. Now, I know that this may not be for everyone, um, but I just really like how they frame my face. And, I don't know, it may be a little bit too bushy for some of you. Some of you. Like I said, I've been really, really, really liking how they look on my face. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. And if you want to know how I get these bushy brows, then just keep on watching. As you can see, my eyebrows are nice and groomed. I'm going to take my setting spray and I'm going to um, spray a couple spritz right here where with my soap. I'm just going to spray it a couple times. Just um, scraping a little bit of that soap with my spoolie. Just like this. Once I have a little bit of the soap, I go in and start brushing my eyebrows up. Just like this. And then once I coat them with the soap, so I'm just going to twist it and up. Twist it and up. And then if I have a couple of those hairs facing up, I'm just going to brush them to the side. Like so. You can definitely see how it kind of defines my eyebrow hair a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to wait a couple of seconds for it to kind of like dry down a little bit. And then I'm going to start, um, I'm going to go in with my pomade. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade in the shade Soft Brown. And this is the one that I use to actually like fill in those like hair like strokes. And then I use my Morphe M160-1 um, um, And as you can see, this is a super thin eyebrow pencil. I was kind of like browsing and I wanted to find like a brush that I could use my eyebrows for because um, my Anastasia Beverly Hills is kind of like getting a little bit like spread around with the bristles. I need a thinner brush because I really wanted to perfect kind of like my technique with the brush strokes. So I found that brush and I love how my eyebrows look. I know that a lot of people don't like kind of like the bushy eyebrows um, or really like thick brows. Um, like I said, to each their own. I like my eyebrows the way I draw them in. Um, and it's just something that I like how it looks with my face. Once I have my whole face on, which you'll see. Once I have my brush, I'm going to just dip it on the pomade. And I take a little bit of product. Like, I'm not going to go in and just push in the brush. I literally just go like this a couple times. Kind of to get a little bit of product on the brush. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see it because it's a tiny, tiny uh, product. But what I do is I usually start at the tail of my brow and make sure that I'm in focus. So then I'm going to just start brushing hair strokes on my eyebrow. Just like that. And this is going to take patience and practice. I'm not perfect or I'm not where I want to be as far as like how my eyebrows look. But like I said... Practice makes perfect, so as long as you keep practicing your hair strokes, you're going to keep getting better at it. Something that's extremely important that I've noticed is that you don't put a lot of pressure on your brush when you're actually flicking the, um, the hair strokes. So I'm going to put a little bit more product. And if I see that it looks like there's a lot of uh, product on my brush, I just take the back of my hand and I just kind of like clean it. Like I said... Not a lot of pressure. I'm going to go in and start brushing my actual eyebrow. And it's going to be the same as if I'm doing the hair strokes down here. I'm actually just brushing them upwards. I used to outline my brow. And you'll see it in my um, How I Grew My Eyebrows video. I used to outline my brow and then just fill it in. And now that I look back at it comparing to this style, I love this style way better than how, than how I used to do them um, you, like less than a month ago. I started doing my eyebrows like this, I want to say like two weeks ago. Because I was very determined uh, to learn how to do the brush strokes. So that's how I decided I wanted to do my eyebrows like this. Like I said, no pressure, 
and I'm just flicking the product in my eyebrows now I'm not gonna go in and actually like outline it um, all I'm doing is kind of just flicking the product in those hairs okay so I actually recorded this and realized that my camera was not recording so fun times <laughs> so as you can see my eyebrow is prepped and I'm gonna take my pomade and I'm gonna start doing the hair strokes at the end of my eyebrow and like I said very light pressure you're not trying to go in and use a lot of force because then your strokes are gonna look very harsh And then start brushing it upwards. So I'm just following the natural stroke. I'm just following how my the hairs of my eyebrows kind of like grow. So obviously they grow like that. So that's how I want to go about my brows. And that's kind of like how I want to go about the hairs that I'm uh, drawing. So the same over here. You want to flick them kind of like the same. So that the new strokes that we're drawing, they're kind of blending with our natural hair strokes now I can definitely see how this one's a little bit more bushy than my right one so that's when I go in and kind of like make them look a little bit more similar remember your eyebrows are supposed to look like cousins not twins so don't try to like make them look perfect because you're just gonna give yourself a, um, a headache with trying to make them look perfect when they're not gonna look perfect at all this technique of these like bushy eyebrows I've seen a lot of kind of like UK based makeup artists use and I just I really like how it looks when I actually have my full face on so I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up I personally like using my foundation or the foundation that I'm gonna use for that day I don't know why using my concealer it looks very bright under my um, brows so I just take this morphe M421 and I'm just gonna pack that with the foundation and when I'm cleaning up my brows I go in very carefully so as you can see I'm just gonna outline Okay, so now that I clean them up, as you can see, it looks cleaner, but a little messy still. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go in again with my pomade, and I'm going to go in with my brush, and so that my eyebrows look more natural and make them seem that that's the way my eyebrows look. Um, I'm going to go in with a little bit of product, and I'm going to start making new hair strokes Okay, so now that I have my eyebrows cleaned under my, um, my eyes, my, <laughs> okay, so now that my eyebrows are clean under here, I'm going to go in and clean them up at the top, and again, I'm going to use my, uh, foundation that I'm going to be using for today, and I think this shade is a little bit darker, so I'm just going to 
clean them up a little bit again not grabbing a lot of product and just clean them up a little bit not harsh and as you can see I'm just kind of like making a line but I'm not getting too close to the actual eyebrow And I don't know why I do this, but when I'm actually cleaning the top, I'm, I move my head kind of like to guide the brush. And, and as you can see, my arrows don't look as clean as I used to wear them. Um, I definitely like how these look much better. So now I'm going to take a little bit of the product with my eyebrow pencil. I'm going to take a little bit of that pomade. And just so that we don't have that kind of like harsh line, I start kind of like making hair strokes going upwards. And I take that clean thing and clean it. Once you get like the hang of it and you start practicing more, you're going to find whatever works best for your eyebrow shape. Taking a little bit of that product and kind of like making a little bit of the strokes up here. And always take your time. Don't try to like rush it into the strokes. And just take your time. Um... For practice, like I said, my eyebrows are not where I want them to be, but I'm just practicing every day and kind of like figuring out how I want my eyebrows to look with this specific technique. So yeah, there you go. Super bushy brows. So that's it for this eyebrow routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed and kind of learned something new. Please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there as well as giving this video a thumbs up. And as always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!